So we have four somewhat similar looking problems here that we're going to try to work through. Uh, we might need a little bit of room, so I'm going to just start with these two here. So I've got absolute value of the quantity x minus 2 plus 1 equals 4, and the very first thing I'm going to want to do with this problem is to isolate that absolute value. So just like if I was solving x plus 1 equals 4, and I subtracted 1 from both sides, I can do the same thing here. I can subtract 1 from both sides and get absolute value of x minus 2 equals 3. Now, if you think back to what we did earlier, if absolute value of x was 3, then x could either be 3 or negative 3. So in this case, since the absolute value of x minus 2 is 3, there's two ways that that could happen. Either if x minus 2 was 3, or if x minus 2 was negative 3, since then the absolute value of it would be 3. So this breaks it down into two smaller problems. Here, I get x equals 5. Here, I get, let's see, negative 1. And so there's my two solutions to this problem. Now, we, let's just quickly double check them. The absolute value of 5 minus 2 is, let's say 5 minus 2 is 3, absolute value of 3 is 3. If I plug in negative 1 for x, negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3, and the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. So both of our answers check here. So now let's try solving our second problem over here. Now, same thing, we got this plus 1 that is not inside the function, so let's go ahead and subtract 1 from both sides, and we get absolute value of x minus 2 equals 3. Now, here we have our square root, and our, we really don't, we, it's in our way, so we want to get rid of it. So we think, how do I undo the square root? I undo the square root by squaring both sides, and now the square root square undoes the square root, and I'm just left with the inside with x minus 2. 3 squared is 9, and now I can add 2 to both sides, and I get x equals 11 as our answer. So let's do a quick verification here. If I plug ba 11 back into my equation, square root of 11 minus 2 plus 1, is square root of 9 plus 1, square root of 9 is 3, 3 plus 1, and 3 plus 1 is indeed 4, so our answer checks. So there's the first two, uh, now let's look at the next two problems.